No one else was injured. Now to that story we told you about at the top of the show. Several young adults are spending a year living in poverty by choice. They are the Vincentian Volunteers of Cincinnati. Our Lucy May and Emily Maxwell spoke with the volunteers to learn more about their mission. So often people think of poor people uh, and just label them just as that. But to, I think I've really learned in depth more this year that poverty is just somebody's situation. When we approve someone for rent utility, we have like an hour long meeting, but most of that meeting, at least 45 minutes of it, is just us listening to them and letting them get their story out and focusing on all like about their needs in that moment as far as like how they're doing mentally. People back home think, oh, people who are poor here are even better off than people back home. But now I know they could do worse off here than back home, because back home you have social, um, you have a social structure, you have family, so it's making me realize how when you're poor here, then it means you really have nobody. People don't give it up, so it's just like this string of people of like, want to get out of their situation, um, even if they know it's really hard or if it's very complex, but they will try and find a way to get out of that. Jack, Anna, Phyllis, and Carmen are part of St. Vincent de Paul's Vincentian Volunteers of Cincinnati, also known as VVC. The VVC is a year-long service program for people between 21 and 30 years old who have an interest in nonprofit work. The program brings together volunteers from all over the world to work and live together, each offering a different perspective on poverty. Jack is a Cincinnati native, Anna from upstate New York, Phyllis is from Ghana, and Carmen from Spain. St. Vincent de Paul's current VVC class works and lives in the city's West End. Their mission is to interact with their neighbors and to live like those they are serving. Um, a really unique part of our aspect through the Vincentia Volunteers of Cincinnati is that we live in the West End alongside our neighbors. So this is our humble home that we live in. It's an old rectory. Over here we have um, our prayer room. This is our reflection room. We, this is probably where we spend most of our community time. This is our dining room. And we have a junk room, a <laughs> downstairs bathroom. Here's our kitchen and we have a pantry as well. While housing is provided, the VVCs live in poverty, being given limited resources through St. Vincent de Paul. For example, the U.S. citizens of the group apply for food stamps to help feed all eight of the VVCs in the house. Pasta with uh, broccoli or onions, some garlic. It was going to all be spaghetti pasta, but we didn't realize that the boxes weren't quite full. So now we're doing spaghetti pasta and macaroni. <laughs> what is our food stamp count for one year? Here. Yeah, see like everyone's just about out of money for food stamps for the rest of the month, which is rough. Now, halfway through the program, they say their experience thus far has been more than rewarding. There's so much uh, mutuality there between people of privilege and uh, people who are not privileged. And there's a great potential for relationship building there that can happen if people just like come in contact with each other and just listen to each other. These people come in with what I would consider near to nothing, but to them they have everything. It's almost like they have no distractions, like it's just them and God. So America, as is presented to the world, is different. Um, we see the New Yorks and the celebrities, and but I think this has made me know um, what's going on in a different way. Because I knew, I mean, I know in every society there are poor people, but I didn't know um, the dynamics of the poverty as I know it now. I don't know, if something is not going the way that I want, I just like, <laughs> keep, get crazy of like, ah, oh, this is not working, I'm kind of like, I'm giving up. And then when you see people who have like eviction note or they're going to cut uh, the utilities or like the light or whatever, and they keep going and then there's okay let's try to find different ways on how can we fix it so, so it's just this thing that is like wow well, um, I would don't know if in their situation I would be as brave as they are so with that much courage and you can read our article on this story right now on WCPO.com and our coverage continues in just a few minutes I'll be speaking with the director of the program and someone who is a current member also 